Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Art of War video. Uh, Donald Hogue had a question and he was asking about uh, defensively for a level 15 Siondiak. What's kind of, he said he's getting slaughtered on defense and what's the best thing to do for that? Well, Donald, um, that's tough. Siondiak is hard to defend against Selene, but if you are going to make a good uh, defense, uh, maybe that make people think twice about attacking your, uh, where is my big pictures? Okay, about attacking your, um, <coughs> um, Siondiak, something like this. So, um, a lot of guys use like something like this with like a split stone golem up front, um, one on, on each corner where those ghost assassins are. So this is a higher ranked um, Siondiak. Um, you're going to see a lot of Peltas. Um, uh, so I don't usually use Siondiak on defense also because I'm getting slaughtered as well. But that being said, I am seeing a lot more really high ranked um, uh, Siondiaks in the top 100. And they all kind of look like this. So I'll find another one here. Possibly... Okay, here's another one. Here's with the uh, split go go stone golems like I'm talking about. Um, defensively, you want uh, the nuns are good in the back, uh, pirate ships, uh, brawlers seem to be good also. A lot of peltas seem to be good. Um, so, so Siondiak's main enemy is Selene. Siondiak does really good against everybody else. Just Selene is the problem. So your main uh the person you're losing to is more than likely 95% uh, of them is going to be Selene's. And uh, the, <clears throat> the way to stop Selene is to kill her Rhino Knights. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, Split Stone Golems helps, um, helps your rear attackers live longer. Um, obviously, the longer your Stone Golems live, the longer your rear attack is doing. Um, also, a lot of Peltas seem to kill the Rhino Knights fast, if you have a bunch of Peltas. So you, the strategy is here, um, the Rhino Knights go charging forward, um, the pirate ships stun them, and you got your undead soldiers and um, Peltas in there to kill them. And this works actually really good. I, I used to attack Siondiak pretty much every time I saw her with my Selene, but lately um, I've been dying to them. so. It's kind of tough. These uh, Siondiaks, I'm seeing a lot more like this. And with a lot of Peltas, they're just really difficult. Um, it, even with Ali, I mean, Ali will take out their Peltas or whatever, but then the damage is already done because they, the, the single load troops do so much damage up front. So it's really hard to deal with a Siondiak um, with that. So what you're going to need... So the troops are, this is pretty common too. You have your pirate ships, meteor golems, uh, stone golems. Um, a nice rear attack is good. Uh, ghost assassins do really well with Siondiaka. They do a lot more damage than magic apprentices do. Um, and then obviously frost archers if you can in the back. But if you don't have frost archers, the, the witchcraft, or the Taurus witchers are a good substitute. And then uh, pirate ships and nuns are good too with uh, Siondiak. They can help uh, hold off the those rear attackers. But with the heals that the troops get, um, that's kind of what you're looking for. Uh, priest mages also do a lot of damage. So defensively, something like this is uh, really good. Let's see if I can't find another one here. So you'll see like... Uh, not seeing a lot of sea on the ox here. Anyways, um, this is what I use on. Is it even going to come up on the uh, sea on the ox? All right. 
this is an 8,000 battle, right? So here's your um, Siondiok, and this is what happens when you go up against a Selene normally. Just everyone just gets runs to the back and just gets slaughtered. So that's usually what it looks like. If you have some um, stone golems in there on the side and some peltas as well, they can really do a number on them actually. So it can be a whole different story. Um, so uh, this is a really good uh, Selene formation, as you can see. I don't really have the peltas to pull off um, that other defense, but here's a split stone goal and we'll see if they do any different. Just the problem is you got those guys running to the back and it can be a little sketchy, but see how they kind of held them up this time and still not gonna win, but it's a little bit different. If I had a ton of peltas in there, it might've been a different story, but still they just, Celine just kind of owns a Siondiok. Um, so I, I hope this kind of helps. Um, that's probably the, one of the harder ones to do, defend against is uh, Siondiok on defense is, is just trying to beat those Selenes. But de definitely that one I showed you earlier is with the split stone golems will make me think twice. In fact, I think I attacked one today and I lost to it with my Selene. So um, those are the kind of the troops that you want. The Peltas, obviously, for a lot of damage. Uh, Brawlers aren't bad, too, with Siondiok. They have a lot more hit points. They do pretty fast damage, and uh, they take advantage of the heals, so they don't really die um, really quickly easier. So thanks, Donald, again for the question. I hope it helps, guys. Uh, I know it was a little kind of rambling there, but uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time.